Hello my friends! In this video I'll show you how easy it is to paint flamingo silhouettes. I will begin by dividing my canvas into two panels and for this I'm using a roller here. It will help me make a straight line. And I'm filling first the top area. For this I'm using pink and in order to get pink I mix red and white. I'm sure you already know that. So this will be my sky and I am placing few clouds. I'm using here darker hues and then brighter hues. Where I want to be the cloud I'm using more red and the other areas I'm filling with white. And I'm blending everything in but not too much. On the left I'm going to place a moon silhouette and here I'm using an object that has a round shape. I'm tracing the contour first and here I'm filling everything with white. My disadvantage is that I have a small brush and it takes longer. Here you can use a bigger brush, just fill everything with white. As I'm filling everything, I don't want to have an opaque moon. I want some of the pink that is underneath to be still visible. So I'm not gonna apply too much here. And I'm going to also pay attention to the contour. I don't want to go over the line that I did before. Now it's time to define the sky. So I'm going to place here and there more clouds and I'm going to play with the spontaneous shades that I create. The beauty of a sky it's the dynamic it doesn't have to have a certain pattern just patches of darks and bright and that creates beautiful sky so as you can see here I'm just applying and then blending and then I apply again where I think it needs more there's one thing that I like very much when I paint clouds and sky and that is how spontaneous the entire process is. There's no wrong thing and there's no right thing. It's spontaneous. It's every single shade and every single spot that I put, it's the right thing at the right place. And I love this. It's purely creative. I'm pretty sure you understand what I'm saying. So shortly, I love painting clouds. My sky is a little unusual, but I don't want to replicate a realist sky. That's why I'm using only pink. If you want, you can make this a sunset sky. And then besides pink, you will use orange, a little bit of blue and lots of yellow. And for brightness, you can use sparks of white. So if you want to create a darker sky, then you will use more blue, green or purple. For the water, I'm redefining the horizon line first. So with a darker pink, I'm just tracing a line. And I'm not going to go above it. Okay, now that it's good enough, I'm going to start painting underneath and I'm mixing the same colors that I use in the sky but this time I want it to be a little darker so it creates the distinction in between the sky and the water. Also here in the water I want to keep the negligent aspect so I'm not gonna blend too much. I've changed my brush and I'm filling the lower part of the moon with I want this to be brighter. And so I'm 
putting few accents in the sky. The next step is to sketch my birds. So I'm going to put my first flamingo right here. They have a long neck. And for this, I'm going to put one leg here. And the other leg will be bent. Okay, that's the first. The next one will be a baby bird. So it's smaller. It's looking in the same direction. And I'll put both legs. Oh, okay. Third one. It's here. I'll start with the body. For this bird, we can see only one leg. The next bird over here. And here are the legs. And the last one, let's say here, somewhere here. And this is the head neck and the leg so we we'll have a total of five flamingo birds now it's very easy I'm going to fill my drawing with a dark color here I'm not using black it's a mix of black and red if you painted a different sky than what I have here, then you can use a different color for the silhouettes. For this, what is helping me a lot is the brush that I'm using. It's a very small brush and that allows me to have more control on the area that I'm painting. Also, when I'm painting, I'm redefining what I see. I'm not following exactly what I draw to begin with. Okay, so the first one is done. Now is the small one. As I'm painting it, I'm wondering if I should add eyes or any other details. And then I said, no, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it just silhouettes. As you can see here, I've changed the position for the second leg. And after I will finish all the birds and after my color will be completely dry with an eraser I'm going to get rid of all the pencil marks and my painting will look clean. For this bird I'm going to keep a small white area here. I'm not gonna fill it with color just to suggest the fact that the head is bent and overlaps the body. I'm moving here to the last bird. It's easier to, to go in this order. So this is the head. The long neck. And the body. Here I'm changing the original sketch and I'm adding the second leg 
and I'm adding more changes. I'm going to place my fourth bird here. So I'm moving it completely in another area. This is the body. The neck. And here the head. This bird is sitting down on the water, so we're not gonna see the legs. For the final step, I'm going to add a few decorative plants here. I'm using the same brush that I used before, and I'm just going with short lines in all the directions. I'm adding another layer of plants. Some of them are shorter, some of them are longer, some of them are on the right, some of them on the left. That creates a dynamics. I'm adding here a little shore. This is total optional, we can go without it too. and more bushes. Let's put here another plant. And we can even suggest some leaves. a water reflection. Here is just a zigzag line for each bird. And of course you wouldn't be complete without adding more birds. Okay, so this is my painting with flamingo silhouettes. I hope you like it and see you next time. Bye-bye!